Oh yeah, how's it going everyone? Fairland here and oh let me get rid of this text here. Hopefully Muxy will cooperate today. Hopefully I still haven't changed over yet, but oh well. It's gonna take some time. <laughs> And I was trying to build my computer yesterday, and I found out I didn't have one of the screws in the motherboard that I needed for my M2 drive, so that's just great. Talk about that later, though. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Let's see what is going on in Porberg today. The going secret silver gamer. Oh, yeah, you know what? I forgot. I knew I was missing something. Let me add you really fast, because I said I would, and I didn't, and that was my bad. I know, Drek, what the heck is up with this new Twitch look? I really don't like it. Like, the font is hard to read. Um, it's just not very good. <laughs> and they changed the color, too. Well, the funny thing is, I remember you so many times I'm like oh I gotta add him I'll do it right before I start streaming and I'll, I'll be right there and I'll do it and all that stuff so we'll do this right now so I do not forget there we go okay now we're set yeah if ever I say I'm gonna add you between streams and I don't then it's on me I will make sure that uh I make it right but I don't like to add like while I'm playing. I think that's, I think that's a good compromise because that way I don't like pause what I'm doing. I think that's kind of, I don't know, like that slows things down a bit. All right, but anyway, I have a feeling like even if you weren't here, I would have been like, oh shoot, I know what I'm forgetting. Also, how's it going, everyone? Um, a lot of people popped in while I was kind of adding that code. But yeah, this uh, this new Twitch. Look, what do you guys think of it? I find it very hard to read. Like, they're using all these new fonts and stuff, which, you know, that's fine, but like, it's just, it's harder to read. I just don't like it as much. And it's harder to select, too. Like, I was trying to select the text, and it, it's just narrower. Like, they need to change the line height in the text boxes just a little bit, so I don't even know, man. Hey, thank you so much, seriously, for subscribing. Really do appreciate that. That is awesome. Um, let's see. I feel like if I just increase the font size, let me do the control plus thing. Oh, great, that affects all of Twitch. I guess helps. But yeah, that, that does help it quite a lot, I have to say. Um, yeah, I don't know what the heck. And what I don't like is they change the color. Like, what brand changes their, their signature color? Like, Twitch's purple is so distinct, and now it's like this vibrant purple. Oh, well, whatever. You know, like, it's kind of... <laughs> It's kind of frustrating like I don't really have that good of feelings towards twitch anyway like they're always doing things this isn't even surprising to me anymore but like I don't have a warm and fuzzy the new discord light theme but on twitch uh it's not quite as bad I really miss what they did what are these rice bales oh okay because, like, honestly, I use light mode on Discord. That's or I used to. I still do, actually. That's just what I prefer looking at. Um, but what I really appreciated was having the dark sidebar for stuff. Like, I felt like that was really nice. So when they changed that to being light, for really no good reason, it was just really disorienting. Like, I, I found it harder to navigate, which was really surprising, because they didn't change the navigation of anything. So, I really don't know. Um, so one thing, we have Drake moving out pretty soon. It's like six days. Or, really? Someone else is moving in in the village? <laughs> this is 
like a sprawling metropolis. What the heck? No one wants to move in anywhere else. That's so weird. Uh, I want to add something new to my room. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, by the way, so I did get the items. Well, item from uh, Dora. It was a stroller. She gave me a stroller for getting that uh, emperor butterfly. I did find it. But I also, she just randomly gave me a plum bone size, so that's kind of cool. Oh, we should give Puddles the boomerang. All right, here. I could see her with a boomerang. I could also see her with a stroller, realistic. You know what? I think she'd be more likely to enjoy a stroller. Oh, you found me a stroller. <laughs> All right, well, great. Uh, anyway. Uh, it's a kitty wardrobe. Really? Well, maybe it won't be so bad. How's it going, gaming fan? Oh, man. I just... I don't know. I wish... Companies would just... Change things so often, just for the sake of changing things. What's going on, Tiger Fire? Uh, you know what a peacock butterfly is, don't you? Well, as a matter of fact, yes... In fact, do I have one in my inventory? I feel like I do. Hey, would you look at that? I do. How's it going, Mighty L? Gonna lurk while you're playing your town. Nice. I'm doing something interesting with my town here, in case you're unfamiliar. So the town's called Poorbird. I don't allow myself to buy or sell bugs. Belay tank, oh, thank you. Uh, bugs, fish, I can't play the stock market, and I can't sell perfect fruit. Now, obviously, if a villager wants to buy it, well, then I can. It's fine. But it's very restrictive as to how much money I can make, which I like. I think it makes it interesting. Like, I've only paid off the house on um, one step above the one you get after uh, uh, getting out of the tent. So I guess I've paid off the little place. It's really tough. Like, normally you could just do that super easy, but I don't know. I, I really like this. Well, this is our new villager, Eloise. I'm actually okay with that. I think, uh, I think she'll be a nice addition here. What's going on, Rory? YouTube is pretty bad when it comes to new designs and stuff. If I had a million bells, what would I do with it? Uh, we can all dream, right? I would probably repay loans. About our dreams. Yeah, well, we don't have dreams in Poor Bird. <laughs> you don't know how this town works. Yeah. New Leaf on hard mode. Sort of. Sort of. Like, I've played... I've had several towns before. Oh, wow. Nice steamroller, buddy. I've had several towns before, and, you know, those are more like... Trying to get everything and complete things. I just want something fun just to hang out with people. So I figured, you know what? Let's just have it so we're a lot more modest with stuff. I think that's, uh, that makes it pretty fun. And it has. It certainly gives me a lot more appreciation whenever I do complete something. I'm hoping I can make enough money today to pay off my loan. We need about. I think it's 15,000, roughly. So I need to put these perfect apples away. Ooh, I see some oranges that are ready. Yes, Twitch does look different. Because they just love changing things. <laughs> Alright, a lost item. Wonderful. Uh, let's see... Wow, we have even more black roses. There are so many of them. I wonder how much I can sell them for. Let's make some more of them, I guess. Oh! Now, I think if a black rose wilts... And then I water it, I think it becomes... Or no, I need a golden watering can for that. Whoops. <laughs> That's right. I think. 
Pretty sure. Huh. Alright. What do we have here? Umbrella! Alright. Oh, look at all these oranges. Okay, so what... What don't I really need right now? I need to figure out who has this lost item. Who it belongs to. You don't need a gold watering can? Oh! Nice. Been such a, such a long time since I've done it. I remember it taking a while, too. Because I usually would have the uh, Keep the Town Beautiful ordinance in place. Is this yours, Rory? Over by the cliffside. Oh, yeah, it's totally in my bag. Had a bunch of sand in it for weight training. I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, an Argyle knit shirt. Thank you. You always give me shirts. Kind of weird, but okay. Uh, we got a new villager yesterday. We got Eloise, the elephant. But we are getting someone moving in today as well. How could we even tell if you had blush on your pink already? <laughs> um, try a different color. Henry, how are you doing? Yes, we'll have a full town of ten. Impeccable timing, Oliver. I'm going to Eloise's place today. Could you do me a favor and deliver something important? Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? I need to get rid of some of these extra items I've been picking up from all these deliveries and things. All right, Eloise, we just saw her. Going on, Cyrano. One of those types that doesn't care about ordinances. I'm one of the types that can't afford ordinances. Honestly, there's not really anything we could do, because I can't go with uh, any of the good ordinances. Look at this! Like, seriously, there are going to be six houses all over here. Yeah, Drake is moving out. And one thing I've decided for a policy in Poorburg here, if someone wants to move out, I cannot stop them. They have to move. And if they try to avoid moving, like if they change their mind, we'll still move them out on their moving out date or the day before or something like that. Uh, I'll just use the Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. So yeah, that'll... That'll be interesting, I think. Then we'll get to cycle villagers a lot. I think that's enjoyable. But the only thing is, I don't like having control over who moves in. I like it to be a mystery. But I think it'd still be better to have them move when they're saying they're going to move. If they do that thing where they change their mind. You know how that goes. Like, hopefully he won't. I'll miss Drake. But I don't want to stop talking to him. Alright, so they've already paid off 2,000. That's kind of nice. Um, where did Eloise go? I know she was just around. Get that present. I really want to know who's in. Alright, what do we have here? I don't remember what coupons I got. All right. What is the daily thing? Small talk. Oh, okay. Mitten crab. Oh, yeah, we're not doing that. Only going out at night? I don't think so. All right. Well, I guess I might as well get this item. I have to wait that long.
Any moment now. This angle might make it a little tough. Gonna get it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it fell. Whoops. Hey, thank you so much, Shrepa, for the 100 bits. Saying, shh, don't tell my manager, but I thought I'd stop by for a quick second during work to send some hype and wish you well on your day in Forberg. Well, thank you so much for the bits. I do appreciate that. Hopefully work goes well. I won't tell, don't worry. Let's just hope that uh, your manager isn't watching as well. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Balloon floor. Absolutely not what I want. I wonder which of these is the most expensive. I know that there's one that's like really expensive. And it might actually make sense to like prioritize it. I didn't make much money last night when I did some beach combing, but oh well, it was still good. Okay, let's sell some junk that I don't need. Hey, how's it going, Eclopricious? Oh, also, just out of curiosity, what is the price of turnips today? 63. Yeah, we're definitely on a roller coaster. Alright, so let's get rid of some junk I don't need. I don't think I need any. Actually, I think the Argyle knit shirt looks kind of decent. Don't need the balloon floor. I really don't need the kitty wardrobe. I like the bonsai though, that's pretty good. And I like the boomerang. All right, so I guess I don't need to sell as much stuff as I thought. Not really getting all that much either. Okay, let me see. This looks. Oh. <laughs> that is not what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking, but that is just not. I'm getting rid of it. Even for that much money. Oof. All right, let's see. Try drop off some of the items in my house too. Oh, there you are. I was looking all over. Such a dramatic sound when you talk to her. Her instrument. Uh, oh, that's right. I ordered a soft serve lamp. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> oh, great, another shirt. A snow shirt. Really? Like, I want to wear. I, I've had this before. What is your obsession, uh, obsession with ice cream, Eloise? How much do I need to pay off the loan? I need 98,000, so I could get it today. It's certainly possible. I might need to go get some beehives. All right. Buy this shirt already. I don't need it. All right, we need 13,000. But I'm gonna go harvest some oranges and whatever other kind of fruit I can find, so that'll be good. Make 3,500 for each basket of these things. Oh no, this is the start of the stream. Don't catch the star one of these days. Well, tomorrow, keep in mind, it's gonna be at 5 p.m. Central Time. So it'll be uh, six hours later than usual. I wanna do that on Fridays. I think that'll work out well. Airflow. Okay, can I find some beehives? 
I don't think anyone interesting is in town right now. Oh. Doing all right today. Although I'm pretty mad because I still haven't gotten a refund from Amazon for my CPU and all the parts that I return because I don't trust them. So that has been two weeks since I shipped it. That's ridiculous. So I'm going to have a very angry uh, cat with customer service after lunch. You know, it's always important to treat whoever's on customer service fine. Like, I'm going to preface it. Hey, I'm not mad at you personally, but I'm really mad at the company. Because this is, you know, a thousand plus dollar order. And they've had it delivered for, like, almost a week now. Like, I have the UPS tracking, so I know they have it. So they have just treated me like absolute trash. I'm actually canceling my Prime over this. Like, I've been a Prime member for, I think, like, five years, maybe even more. Actually, I think a lot more. I feel like I was Prime either the year I moved out or be like a year after so that was a long time but yeah I mean I'm done with them I'll obviously order from time to time but it just it doesn't make sense to pay $120 a year now like they've increased the price twice since I've been a prime member and really they've only taken away things I feel like they've added a few things here and there I don't care about I'll say their movie selection and TV selection for their Prime video, it's actually gotten a lot better, but still, it's not worth $120 a year. So, and after this, it's just like, I feel they treated me just so poorly. It's bad. Your nickname. Uh, alright, what is it? Cowboy. <laughs> hey, cowboy. All right, I like that. <laughs> yes, I like it. <laughs> All right, then <laughs> from now on, I'll be calling you by the new nickname. Hey, hi, cowboy. <laughs> Yeehaw, I gotta get a cowboy hat now. Oh, that's great. Henry, you're awesome. <laughs> uh, no rules. Wait, you want to say that to the mayor? You want to say that again? Uh, yeah, I'm just really mad. Like, they botched that order so poorly. I've already ordered everything else for new eggs, so. And for the most part, it was fine. I had a good experience with them. I think I mentioned it the other day, but, like, I ordered some thermal paste. And it arrived in this bubble wrap thing, loose, which, to be fair, that's... It was described as such. It was, you know, no frills. It was just, uh... You know, just for system builders, like, I don't need packaging. Like, that's fine, but the problem is, there's another balloon that way. Mm -hmm. I get it. I probably should. Let's see if I can get the fruit down on the beach first. But yeah, it was just a mess in this uh, bubble wrap thing. Like, some had leaked out. I don't know how it's not supposed to do that, because it should have a cap on it. But anyway, I contacted them about it on uh, Twitter DMs. It didn't make a big deal because it was easy to find their customer support. They were really responsive and they sent out a new one within 10 minutes. I'll get that in a moment. Uh, it was great. I mean, it's a $6 item. It's not like it's that much, but still like, you know, there's nothing Really, they could have done better, in my opinion. Like, I feel like that was about as good of a resolution as I could reasonably expect. So, I don't know. I was quite satisfied with Newegg's customer service. Wait, is this, like, literally the exact same track? I think it's exactly the same track. Yeah, right by this tree. That's so weird. <laughs> okay. And then meanwhile, Amazon sends me a counterfeit CPU because it was in a unmarked box. Well, okay, it was marked. It was marked with the CPU that I ordered, but it was not the product box that I ordered. So that was a red flag as it is. I opened it up 
and it's this completely random half CPU thing. Like, I don't know what it was, but it certainly wasn't the $340 Intel i7 9700K processor that I ordered. It was not that. And the particularly alarming thing is, with this, the particularly alarming thing, it wasn't a third party that I bought it from. It was directly from Amazon. Like, I would almost understand, I'd still be mad, but I would almost understand if I got, you know, a counterfeit CPU, but it was from a third party seller, but it was them directly that sent it to me. And that is so wrong, like, what? So I'm in sofa. I like the classic one better. I'll probably sell this. So I was just, and you know, I contacted their customer support. I would have liked it if they just sent me a replacement, but they weren't even willing to do that. They, the only option I had was to return it and get a refund, which would take, well, they said like seven to 10 days. Here it's been two weeks. So I'm furious with them. They can just, I'm done. I'm done. But please, I recommend if you are ever thinking of buying computer parts, computers, laptops, anything like that from Amazon, please do not do it. This is not the only situation I've seen just recently. Um, there's a, a Minecraft Let's Player, Mumbo Jumbo. You might have heard of him. Uh, he has several million subscribers. He's one of the hermits of Hermitcraft. He bought a Razer Blade laptop that should have had like a 2080 Ti uh, or Super... It had some really powerful processor in it. And I don't remember if it was 512 gigs of RAM... Uh, not RAM. 512 gigs of SSD or a terabyte. But anyway, he got his and it was like way worse of a video card in it. Like a 1070, not the 2080 that he ordered. And, you know, he was just baffled by that. I'm like, yeah, and the thing is, he was technical about things. Like, he's, he knows computers and stuff. I, you know, there's a lot of people that wouldn't know and they just get that and they'd get ripped off. So I don't know if that was sold by Amazon directly or what, but you know, the point I'm trying to instill is I just told you my experience with them. I told you his experience. Do not buy computers, uh, laptops, um, computer components or parts. Just don't buy them on Amazon right now or at all, they have a serious problem going on and they're not fixing it. And people are going to get ripped off. And, you know, maybe you've had good luck in the past. Like, I've had great customer service with Amazon in the past. I've had issues before. Usually there's no issues. You know, maybe a package is late, okay. Usually I get them early, which is nice. But the thing is, they made things right for me in the past. They made no such effort this time around. And they didn't even seem to care that it was a counterfeit CP. Like they were, this should have been like a huge red flag. Like, wait, you mean we have something in our warehouse that we're selling directly? Like they just brushed me off. They didn't, they didn't offer me like anything. Like, you know, oh, we're really sorry about that. You know, can we give you like, you know, a month prime free or something for the inconvenience. Like they've done, uh, they've refunded either the entire product or some of the product if something arrived damaged. And you know, I just like for collector's editions and stuff, I've had some that like, uh, Shin Megami Tensei for Apocalypse. It had this huge gash in it. And I, would, I was just really upset by that. And I pre-ordered it too, so. If I returned it, then it's like, well, why did I pre-order it if I don't even get to play it on the day that I got it? So, I I ended up, uh, I ended up just, you know, I think I was going to return it, and 
just buy the game digitally because I wanted to play it that day. But they ended up refunding the entire order and saying I could keep the game, which that's a really nice gesture. Like, I was not expecting that. Um, I was fine just returning it. So, you know, like, that's just one example in the past of how they've treated me right. So, you know, like now, oh, look at that stand. I like that. I really like this. Mountain standy. That I have to, oh man, I really have to do this. Washing machine. Oh my gosh, 2,800. No, I, I'm not spending 2,800 bells on a washing machine. Yeah, anyway, I'm sorry for, like, ranting about that. Like, it's been this, this thorn in my side for three weeks now. I placed my order on, um, I placed it on the 5th of September. So it's now been three weeks since I made the decision to order a new computer. And it's just been a terrible three weeks due to all of this and due to my computer breaking. Although I guess that was beforehand, but you know, just, it's just like, I'm not even excited for the computer anymore. That's the problem. It's just like, it just, it's gonna have all these bad memories, which I don't really like. Like that a little bit better. I have. I think it matches the blue a little bit better. All right, let's talk to Sable. But yeah, it's it's one of those things. And you know, like I was trying to say, I've had great experiences in the past with their customer support. It was fine. I know that there's a lot of people that are like, oh, well, I've never had a problem with them. They're fine. You're just, you know, you had one issue. Well, yeah, I did. It was an issue on a thousand plus dollar order where they sent me a counterfeit CPU, like, and try to pass it off as a legit one. And I still haven't gotten my refund. Like, you know, it only takes something like that to be done with a company, regardless of who they are. Like, that's the thing. So if... If you don't want to, uh, you know, listen to that advice, hey, that's fine. I'm only telling you my experience and cautioning you that, you know, you might think you're safe buying these parts, but they have a serious problem right now. Uh, all right, let's see. So do I want to buy these glasses? Like, I kind of like that with the hat I have on. We'll do this. Yeah, and that's the thing. I honestly don't know what they could do to make things right. I mean, I've already returned the items. I've already bought the items elsewhere. So, you know, what would they do? Like, oh, we'll give you a month free Twitch, or not Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime. I'm not gonna order from you. Like, three months even. That wouldn't be, like, what does that accomplish? Like, a year, you know, that's the only thing I could think of maybe if they did like a year, but even then, I wouldn't feel good about buying from them anyway. Maybe it'd be better after a year, but how do you rebuild that trust? Like, it's just really frustrating. So like, in a way, I'm really glad that I decided to return everything, or at least nearly everything from that order because I did not want to give them my money. Like, that was just not right, but it is just ridiculous now. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> so, oh man, anyway, there's my Amazon rant. Speaking of Amazon, how do you like the new Twitch layout? <laughs> oh man. I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. It's so hard to see everything. How to zoom in, which just to see it. Yeah, the font is pretty bad. I mean, okay, I like the font. I just wish that they would increase the size by default. I'm not so opposed to. Oh, I can put this on the. Wall. That's cool. Forgot about that. I'm not so opposed to the font. I like nice fonts, but their implementation is just really poor.
with its bonsai. Oh, probably over here by the... Then where do I put the balloons? Oh, what if I put the balloons over in the other corner? Hey! Oh, that looks nice. I mean, it needs a table of some sort, but... I can't afford such luxuries here. Uh, no. What we're going to do is we're going to put the balloon lamp here. I don't really need to turn that off. There we go. <laughs> yep, so uninformed and boring, indeed. Not impressed, Twitch. Wait, what? Oh, right. These are perfect apples. Hmm, so I actually have quite a few perfect apples. I also have quite a few of these bugs. Remember which of these two go for more money. I guess I'll keep them both on me. It's not really a huge deal. What happened to Twitch? Uh, you might want to refresh and see. They changed their layout and font and color scheme. I haven't even looked at the rest of the site. I don't know what else they've changed, but I know I am not very impressed with what I see right now. Okay, so 92,000. I need to make some money. I almost have enough to pay off that loan. And boy, would I love to have a new, uh, oh, a common chair, perfect. Yeah, if it's the app, it might not have updated yet, but the browser looks pretty bad. Like, on my dashboard, everything just blends together. It's so hard to see. Um, where would I want a common chair? <laughs> I don't even really know. What does it look like? Oh, actually, that, that kind of fits this. Um, I'm wondering if I can rearrange things. Like, it's a little weird having it right here, but, uh, you know. Oh, I know what I could do. I could put it next to, uh, I'll do. We'll reorder these two, and I'll put the chair by the lamp. Uh, the one lamp. <laughs> My bad. Try to specify. I guess these are both lamps, aren't they? All right. There we go. So now it kind of makes it look like a desk or something. I like it. Pretty cool. Actually, not as bad as I thought it would be. This house is such a mess, though. Oh, man, we got to get it upgraded. Just imagine having eight whole spaces. Eight by eight. That would be nice. Oh, yeah, new Twitter is garbage. You are completely right. I don't use it, like, at all, pretty much. I use uh, TweetDeck. Like, I gave up the original Twitter such a long time ago because it's just so bad. So bad. All right, I need to go get some seashells, but then I think I'm going to need to make another visit to a town in order to get some fruit. So, be a good time to start thinking about opening your gate. <laughs> Ribbity do. Oh yeah. Um, who was it? Someone. It was Drake. He wanted to change his reading or catchphrase or something but change it up for him. now just a big quack <laughs> i like it all right let's go get some seashells by the seashore yeah i don't know why sites have to keep doing that like i'm Bringing back my site, of course, and it has a long way to go. But user experience is going to be super important for me. Like, it's something that I want to make sure that if I make a change, it 
will generally be positively received. Like, I don't... I want every update to be exciting. And if I do something wrong, I want to be called out on it. And either provide an option to make things right, or an explanation as to why I went the way I did. I think that's important. I just do, like... So often... It seems like in today's day and age, every site, just every update just gets worse and worse. There are very few sites and services I can think of that, you know, seem to get better. All right, uh, let's sell off stuff. Doing dupio. Thousand. Okay, so I believe one basket of fruit will do it, which is. Oh, Drake! You're gonna buy something, weren't you? Oh, well, it's fine. Okay, let me just go get this stuff really fast. More up here. The sound is. It sounds like a, a plane or something. A lawnmower? Highlight and chat, it's perfect. What? Oh, that's so weird. Alright. I'm not gonna get a lot for this, am I? <laughs> Oh, 310 bells. That's so bad. All right, all right. I'm going to go visit probably one town today. Oh, yes. Setting up parental controls on your own 3DS just to use the internet. Ah, Nintendo. <laughs> what were they thinking? Like, honestly, what were they thinking with that? I don't even know. Uh, let's see. This will leave these bugs on me. Okay, I gotta go visit a town. Just need one basket of fruit. And I should be good. All right, you know what? I want to see these patterns you keep talking about, <laughs> Angel Chow. I'll check them out. Thankfully, it's not like I need anything specific right now, which is really good. Um, Just, like, any fruit. Like, one basket of anything that isn't apples. I'll be fine. All right, here we go. Ah, I like the, the flag. All right, let's see. <laughs> oh, I love these meow sticks. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Like, all of these are really cute, but I like meow stick a lot. <laughs> oh man, these are wonderful. Do you have uh, QR codes for them? I feel like, um, oh, can I snag, hey, oranges? I feel like people would like, uh, like those. I don't have the QR scanner thing. I 
think, yes, that's right. You have, uh, apples as well, I see. Well, is it okay if I grab some oranges? I just want to see if there's a third tree. Hey, I'm Cowboy. How you doing, Elmer? Hey, how's it going, Fashion Giraffe? Thing about the DS systems when I bought one for myself and one for my kid. I had to create a different account for each of us because I input her truthful age. I was under 13, now unable to access and download from the eShop. Oh man, that's silly. Sorry to hear that. And welcome, welcome. Uh, that is silly. I wish that they would do something. Just like, if you have a parent associated with an account, you know, that's what the parental controls should be used for. Like, I don't know. It's it's kind of silly. Oh, Nintendo. I think it's a little better with the Switch, though. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it might be. Okay, if I can just find one more orange tree. Or I guess any other kind of tree. I can only bring back one basket. Sister's display thing. Oh, yeah. I might take the Meowstic one. I do like that. Um, so, Fashion Giraffe, would you be able to, like, factory reset the 3DS system and then input a different date? That might be, uh... Wow, the void. That might be something you could do. I feel like I'm going to fall out of the world. Hmm. Alright, well, I think I might just have to take some... Apples. For Animal Crossing Village. Oh, is it a digital version? That's unfortunate. Wait, then how did you how did you get the digital version in the first place? Because if it's physical, it shouldn't be a problem. I believe it saves to the game card. But if it is, uh... If it's a physical, or a digital version, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. I think you'd be able to change that. Tammy! Other Tammy! It's so weird that they have two Tammies in the game. Yeah, I found one tree of oranges. There was one other. You should, uh, you should contact Nintendo's customer support. Because that is, like, they might be able to assist with that. It seems kind of weird to prevent purchases, because you still have to, like, validate the credit card, I'm sure. So, I don't know. I would, uh, I'd definitely contact them about that. They do have a customer service number, I think? Or maybe even just a forum? And they might be able to do something or recommend something for you for that. You called Nintendo and there's no way around it? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, Nintendo! That's... That's really bad. Wow. I'm so sorry, then. That is ridiculous. Uh, well, I guess I'll take some apples, then. I can always sell them in another town. Alright. Well, that gets the job done, I guess. Okay. Well, this is definitely pretty neat. Oh, yeah, let me go get the pattern really fast. I do like those meow sticks.
Yeah, that's so wrong. That is so wrong, Fashion Giraffe. Oh, man. Well, thanks for sharing your cautionary tale. Ah! <laughs> These are neat. All right, I want it. That's okay. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of these two things. There we go. Yeah, those are awesome. Hold on, I gotta see what you have over here. Like, I kind of want a cowboy hat. <laughs> like, everyone's calling me... Well, okay, not everyone, but Henry's calling me cowboy. Gotta live up to the name. Yeah, this is cool. Thanks for having me over. Now I must journey home. See if I can pay off the house. So close. I might be able to, uh, I might be able to you know, say, oh yeah, find some bees. I think that'll give me enough. Alright, hopefully I'm not stuck on saving, though. Ugh, that was so frustrating last time. Yeah, I'll probably put the meow stick up in the house. At least for a bit. And what is that? theme from? Like, I recognize it, it's familiar, but I don't know where it's from. I don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> Halloween movie. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, how's it going, Poke God? All right, will I have enough money? Actually, I'm just gonna sell the apples now. I should be fine. I can always sell other items I have. Just in case. Hey, thank you so much, Colby, for the 20 bits. What are these kind? I don't even remember them. Show love. Huh, I'm surprised Muxy actually showed them. Okay, apples and oranges. 3,300, I think that's enough. Oh! I'm gonna have like no money. Okay, let's see how little money I'll have. I don't remember if it's 98,000 flat or if it's like 98,000. 500 or something stupid like that. Let's see Francine's out shopping. Uh, I also want to check out the homes really fast here too. Which I probably should have done second. I need to go back in here anyway. Uh, oh, I already have that. In here. Oh, my shirt? I guess. All right, let's pay this off. Time to be poor again. Oh man, but then I'll have a really nice big, big house. It'll be huge. Oh, thank goodness. All right, everyone. I am down to 220 bells. Oh.
Do I have anything in my savings? Oh. I wasn't sure if, like, any of my items sold and if they would get sent directly to savings. So I, I don't know. I figured I'd see. Hey, how's it going, Addison? You lurking? Nice, that's fine. I'm not gonna be streaming too much longer, but I definitely wanna get this upgrade here. All right, I have done it. I've worked so hard for this. So will you give me an upgrade now? I want to expand. Oh man, <laughs> 198,000. No. Well, that's fine. At least we can get it upgraded, so that's good, even if I never pay it off. Man, how am I gonna make all that money? Yeah, so if you don't know, if you're unfamiliar with the self-imposed challenge with this, I've done a lot of Animal Crossing. I've done two previous towns that I've streamed, and, you know, there were more standard ones where, you know, you can make money. I made so much. Like, I had 100 mil thanks to the stock market. So, for this one, I've decided to implement a restriction where i really hard-pressed to make money. I can't buy or sell turnips, fish, bugs, um, fossils. Can't get the money rock. Like, there's all sorts of restrictions here and there, so money is hard to get. I can get normal fruit. I can't sell perfect fruit, either. I can still grow it and give it as, like, gifts and stuff. That's fine. And if a villager does want to buy, like, a bug I have in my inventory, that's also fine. I don't consider that, like, truly buying and selling. I mean, it is, but... It's a little different, because it's random. Didn't I say I wanted a picnic table? Yeah! Puddles, you're such a sweetheart! She always gives me things. <laughs> always! She gave me a fridge, she gave me a flat screen TV, I believe. And uh, now she gave me a picnic table, which actually I think will look pretty nice. Oh, look at Cyrano, he's gardening! He's actually doing it. He was talking about that the other day. That's why we, uh, that's why we put some flowers by his place. Hanging out at your place. Oh boy, are we gonna have to do this? Oh, we're going right now. Thank you! Thank you. Uh, this is Diva's house. So many houses around here. Oh, he was planning it by Diva's. Whoops. Buddy. On a garden, you have to water your flowers. Yeah, Cyrano's actually pretty nice. I don't mind. Oh yeah, he has a really cool house. I forgot about that. I don't have any money to buy anything. Oh, I should give him the boomerang. That would actually look really cool in this place. Yeah, that would fit in really well. I'll have to keep that in mind. We should give him that boomerang because you know he has a sword. He has a, uh, a bow. Oh, he has a suit of armor. Like, just imagine if he put the boomerang, like, right above this guy. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> if I were to tell you the whole story, it'd take, like, three days, so I'll just shut up. <laughs> oh, Cyrano. All right, I like that. Yeah, your room is really cool. Like, I no, like it. Oh, man, you're just such a nice person. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he's he's pretty great. I'm, uh, I'm satisfied. Like, I wasn't entirely sure what to think of him when he first moved in. One that I want to get more familiar with is D.Va. Uh, because I feel like I don't really talk to her. Like, we haven't exactly clicked yet. I like everyone else in town, but I don't know. A, I don't see her all that often. B, she's kind of weird when I do see her. It's kind of strange, but yeah. Yeah, no, that's one of my main money-making ways right now, Fashion Giraffe. Am I picky about who my best friends are? Uh, okay. What the heck? Um, 
Puddles, are you okay? I, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so one thing I do to make money is I visit other towns. I visit subscriber towns and grab their fruit. I also have restrictions on that. I can only grab one, uh, one basket of fruit per town I visit each day, so I can't even just make a ton that way. But it encourages me to visit other towns, interact, and do that to make money, which is kind of nice. So how's it going? Uh, I'm gonna butcher that name. XV Wittenhagel? Oh, hello. Hopefully I didn't butcher it too badly. Oh, man. Okay. Um, yeah, but I, I like that. I think it makes it kind of interesting. I'm looking forward. Like, we had a big harvest of oranges yesterday. I probably should chop down some non-orange trees. Or just like regular trees. Get rid of some of them. And plant more. That's the tough thing is, do I sell them or do I plant them? I have no- wow, there are a lot of these big butterflies over here. Like, I'm a big fan of catching them because if someone wants a bug, then it's like, bam, I got a bug for you. I got your bug right here. They're really- they're pretty good. Obviously, I like to give- I like to spoil my villagers a little bit. How's it going, Chiro Yuji? So I, yeah, I only have two, 300 bells now, baby. Oh, and the picnic table, that's right. About the fruit basket restriction. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. I figure that way I don't get too dependent on other, on, on other people. I mean, I already am. I think that, actually, I think that makes me more dependent because it means I need a lot of other people. But I think that keeps it fair. Ooh, all right, let's get it. You know about that, Angel Chow? Sharing bugs and fish to friends? I was thinking about that the other day, and I actually don't think that'd be a good idea. The reason is, then you could literally just buy your museum completion. <laughs> well, why don't you go ask her? She's right over there. Good for you, cowboy. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Can't believe I had to put on sunscreen today. Wait, I wear sunscreen every day. Ignore me. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is pretty sunny out, I guess. Oh, this thing's gonna take a while. But at least I don't think it's in the same... Same line as the, uh... Last two, yeah, it's different. That was so weird, having two of them be in exactly the same spot. And who sends these things, anyway? And why? Mysteries of life. Oh, I'm excited for the new remodel of the house. It's going to be so roomy. Even though it costs, like, all my money, I don't think I could afford a shirt right now. Like, just barely. I really like not making funky. I think it's made this series pretty interesting, all things considered. What do you guys think? Do, do you find it fun to watch? Because, you know, I mean, there's obviously... Um, a lot of different ways to play Animal Crossing, but most people don't really think of, like, restricting how much money they can make. And I, I'm sure it would slow this down a lot, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just curious to hear what your thoughts are on it. Like, it's... I don't really consider it a challenge because there's not really an end to it. Like, it's not like I beat this. Well, I guess theoretically, if I got all of the upgrades, I would, but the thing with that is it's just time. Like, it, it just takes more time. It's not really any more challenging it's just you know like it's, it's not like I'm trying to race through it I like it that it, it kind of makes it you know, just at a slower pace I feel like all the accomplishments I get they're actually really big accomplishments like I look back at um 
Javel. And I think it was... So I should really go double check the video series. But I know that... Like, I think by day 11... I had already made so much money on the stock market. And sure, that's nice. That is kind of cool. But... You know, it's like, okay, now I have millions, let's say. And then I just buy the upgrade every day. Which, it's nice to have a big fancy house, but it's also- Oh, look at that! He woke! He woke! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Finally, this guy has awoken. Bothering my wife. Get too defensive there, pal. Yeah, you've been sleeping, like, all day. Every day. That's actually pretty cool, though. I'll have to see what, uh, what he can do. Is that D.Va? D.Va! Hey, I bet she's not really going to do anything interesting here. Oh, if you think this stuff is pricey, <laughs> you should go to, uh, wait, buy my green table. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I should take my green table back. Because I'll have a bigger house, and I need to put stuff on things. You know what? I'm going to take it home. Well, actually, let me see if you want Actually, no, I am going to take it home. You've done a terrible job at selling this, Reese. Alright, now what does it take to refurbish this? I'm rather curious. Never tried the stock market. It takes a bit of learning, but once you learn it, it's actually pretty nice. Like, you can make a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, wood color and the tablecloth. Oh, only 170 bells? That's not bad at all. That's great! I can do this. Okay, uh, let's go with a grass green just to mix things up. Tablecloth. Sure, let's put the meow stick on it. Why not? Um. I like them both. <laughs> I don't know. I wish I could put them both on there. I guess we'll go with the female meow stick. Yeah, let's see how it looks. Thankfully, with it only costing 170 bells, that's not that bad at all. Alright, now we're obviously not going to do this, um, today. But it was kind of nice to have that waiting for me for tomorrow. Especially because we'll have a big house. Hmm. I was thinking <laughs> the Meowstick will probably get covered up quite a bit. Oh well, it's fine. Anyway, I think that is gonna do it today, and it's kind of weird because I don't actually have anything going on. It's not like I have to meet anyone. It's not like someone needs this thing at a certain time. I kind of like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you, Rory. That's kind of what I'm thinking, pal. Oh. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, well, I, yeah, I, I just had to speak, didn't I? <laughs> oh, that's fine. I'll visit him for lunch. Or wait, what, what was it? He wanted to go to my place? I don't actually remember. What was that again? Okay, I'll be going to his, or to my house. He'll be coming to mine. There we go, there. There! All right, fine. All right, well, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. And as a reminder, tomorrow's stream will be at 5 p.m. Central Time. As a reference, it's just a little past noon p.m. Central. So it'll be six hours later than usual. That way we can just have you know, some stuff going on at a different time. But otherwise, it should still be at 11 Central most of the days. I think having one, maybe two days that it isn't. Makes sense. All right, anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah.